Hi, I'm Caroline, and today I'm going to show you how to do the Hearts and Horns bracelet. This is an original design. It's kind of a combination of the Aries um, bracelet and the Heart Links bracelet. Um, so the Aries, Aries is a, a ram's head, and rams have, you know, those outward curling horns. So um, that's this part, the horns. And then, of course, there's the heart. So today I'm going to do this bracelet in gray instead of white, red for the hearts, and gold for the horns. I'm going to do this on the monster tail, but you can do this on anything that has four pegs. I suppose you could even do it on your forks. All right. So... I'm going to start off with my gray and do a figure eight on my two front pegs, like so. Then I'm going to put on my horns. I'm going to put one on each side, going from front to back, like so. Then I'm going to go ahead and loop the gray and fold the golds back to the front. Mm-hmm, there we go. Okay, now I'm gonna put on another gray. And I'm going to invert stitch the golds. So I'm gonna get my hook under the top gold and grab the bottom gold and loop it up. That's gonna create our outside curl. So under the top gold, grab the bottom gold and loop it up. All right, so now we've got a gold and a gray on each side. Now I'm going to add my first, actually I'm going to add both my reds going from the front peg to the back peg. And just like we did with the gold, I'm going to take the gray and loop it up. And then fold the red back forward. So right now I've got a red and a gold on the front. I just looped my grays and I've got red on the back. So I'm going to fold my reds back to the front. And now I've got red, red, gold on my front two pegs and nothing on the back. Now I'm going to loop the top reds. This is going to create our... No, I'm not. I'm going to put on another gray. Put on another gray. Come on, there we go. Put on another gray and now I'm going to loop the top two reds and the bottom gold, the only gold. Okay, and that completes our first sequence, though we're not entirely done yet. I know that doesn't make any sense, but we're back to the place where we put on our golds. All right, so now I'm going to, I got gold back here. I've got red, gray, gold up here. So I'm gonna loop my gray and fold my golds back to the front. I guess I'm gonna have to hold it down with my finger. There we go, that was easier. All right, and I'm gonna put on my gray. And gold is horns, so we're gonna invert the gold. So under the top gold to grab the bottom gold, just the gold. So again, under the top gold to grab the bottom gold and loop. And now we're also gonna loop the red. That's gonna finish off our heart. Come on, hook. There we go. I don't think we can see anything yet. Nah, it's just a mess right now. All right, so now we're back to red. So red from front pegs to back pegs. Loop the gray. 
fold the reds back forward. I'm going to stick my finger in here so that it doesn't come off. So now I have red, red, gold on my front two pegs and nothing on the back. I'm going to put on another gray. And this is a heart, so I'm going to just loop the top red. And then I'm going to loop the bottom, the gold. And that's going to be the bottom of our horns. Okay. And now our two horns again. So we're going to take our gold from front to back. Loop the gray. Fold the gold back to the front. Put on another gray. Invert the golds. So hook behind the top gold, grab the bottom one and loop. Hook behind the top gold to grab the bottom one and loop and then loop the red ones. Boy, I'm just getting my hook tangled today. All right, let's pull it down now and see if we can see the pattern emerging. There we go. Horns, heart, horns, heart, way up in there. Okay, well, you're just going to keep on continuing on in this same manner until you get it as long as you want. And when you get it to the length that you want, um, you close her off. It's really easy to close this bracelet off because at the end of every sequence, you end up with just two bands on each of the front two pegs. And uh, I find that it works all right to just fold them over and put a clip on. So there we have, I don't know, we can see that second heart come out. And you can kind of see the, the next horns. So when I go to close these off, I uh, actually, let's do this. Let's put on another of our inside color. And then we can loop both of these off. And then we can move our gray to one peg. And we can attach our C-clip. And there we have it, hearts and horns. Um, this is a reasonably easy pattern if you've done the, uh, um, the heart link type bracelets before. I just like it because it's kind of got an open, lacy look to it. And honestly, the pattern isn't too obvious that it's hearts. Um, so when I've given away bracelets and random colors, a lot of guys pick this pattern, which kind of surprises me because I see the hearts real easy. But, you know, to each his or her own. So there you have it. Happy looming.